Amelie von Wolfen at work in her Berlin studio. She's one of Germany's most successful artists right now. She's been established for a good 15 years. She became famous for her collages depicting surreal spaces using mixed media. The works combine drawing, photography, and painting. She's been fond of art since her childhood. I've been interested in pictures from an early age and started drawing. When I was about 13 or 14, I used to go into my room and draw. Nothing great, but it meant quite a lot to me as a way of processing things. What was not apparent to her at the time was that women artists don't have it easy. The 45-year-old belongs to a generation of German artists who have rediscovered figurative painting. Almost all the big names in her age group are men, such as Daniel Richter, Tim Eitel, or Martin Eder. Painting is still a male-dominated domain, particularly in Germany. No doubt it has something to do with the fact that German painting developed very much from expressionism and from a very authentic male image of an artist, where painting is a direct expression of the personality. And that is something that is traditionally associated with male painters. She studied at the Munich Academy of Art, where she experienced discrimination against women for the first time. There were no female professors at my academy, and I think that was really discouraging. But my professor simply said that the women in the class will get married anyway. He just did not take us seriously. After graduating, Amelie von Wolfen moved to Berlin. The art market was beginning to boom, and German painters in particular were in big demand, regardless of their gender. In 2003, she was invited to exhibit her work at the Biennale in Venice, one of the most important art fairs in the world. Two years later, she had a solo exhibition at the prestigious Centre Pompidou in Paris. Her pictures can now also be seen at the New York Museum of Modern Art. And her latest drawings and paintings are currently on exhibit in New York's Green Naftali Gallery. Her paintings sell for up to 40,000 euros. Her work is highly varied. She doesn't see herself as part of any one school. I have to accept that as a woman I am perceived differently. On the one hand, I'm disadvantaged as a result, but on the other, I have more liberties as a woman because I don't have to keep citing other male painters. Von Wolfen is blazing her own trail. One recurring element in her work, self-portraits. Self-reflection, not self-glorification. Amelie von Wolfen believes the idea that artists are geniuses is a myth. There are some very self-confident men in art who clearly believe they are geniuses and have very big egos. I don't think I'm a genius. Instead, she relies on her talent and her capacity for hard work. She often works weekends when she's got an exhibition coming up. She's given up a lot for her career. I work the whole time and don't focus on having a family. Realistically, there is a certain time pressure. And of course, in your late 30s, you realize you have decided on a particular course. And then you have a bit of a crisis. But this is what I wanted to do, and I'm happy with that. Amelie von Wolfen will continue making her own way as one of the few women in the art scene's big league.